When it comes to layering and grouping your shapes, objects, graphics, images, it's all the same. At least what I'm showing you here with shapes, it'll apply to pictures and smart art and so forth. And so what you're looking at is three shapes here, a parallelogram and two squares. And there's a layering going on because in order for me to put one on top of another, Excel's got to see it as layers, otherwise it's not going to allow me to stack them. So blue is on top of pink, but where's yellow? Is that, well, that's on top of pink because it covers over it. In fact, when you select it and click and drag it over, you can see it's on top of pink, but it's behind the blue. Let me hit undo. Now, if you want to be able to move these layers around and say, okay, I would like the pink to be on top of yellow, but behind the blue, there's a couple ways you can go about doing this. One way is, well, first off, you got to select the shape that you want to rearrange the layering with, and then come up here to its related contextual format tab, go to the arrange group, and you get your send backwards and bring forward options. And so you want to bring it forward, but when you click on the drop down arrow, you got bring forward. When I hover over it, it says it'll bring it forward one level at a time. And we got a total of three levels or three layers. Or don't mess with it, bring it right to the front. That's good. If you have like 20 layers, you don't want to keep clicking on bring forward, bring forward, bring forward 19 times to bring it to that first layer. So we can go ahead and bring forward. And so now it's on top of the yellow, but behind the blue. And then the other way to do it is you can right click on it and you get the same options. Bring to front. Well, we can do it right now, bring to front, and it'll bring it all the way to the front, but it's only one layer, so we can go ahead and do bring forward. And now it's the first layer out of the three. And then, of course, if you right click on it and you want to send it to the back, you can do it one layer at a time by sending backward or straight to the back at the very last layer. Now, I want to go ahead and resize this. Let me click and drag it down here. So it's behind the yellow. When I click off, I can't see it. Now, if I want to keep yellow and blue, those shapes there, but be able to bring the other shape forward or to work with the shape or to format it without going, okay, let me select it, change the color, and then bring it forward. I mean, and then try to go, okay, that's about right. What a mess, right? Let's go ahead and hit undo a couple of times. And there's a couple of ways you can go about doing this. I'll show you the longer way first because you may find it helpful in certain situations and then show you the shortcut. First, the long way. Notice that the yellow shape is selected, so when I hit the tab key, when I do it again, it actually selects the other shape. So it rotates and goes through all the shapes, images, smart art, graphics within the Excel worksheet here. And so tab goes forward shape by shape. So if you have 20 shapes, and let's say that the shape you want to get to is right behind you, don't tab through all the others to get right back to it but hold down the shift key and then hit tab and it goes backwards. Tab forward, shift tab backwards. So we'll do that until we get to the shape. Then once you get to the shape, if you want to bring that to the front, don't right click on it because if you do, you're just right clicking on the yellow shape. So come up here on the format tab, arrange group, bring forward, there you go. That's one way that you can do that and then you can go ahead and change the color, keep it in the same place without moving the shape behind it to get to it and so forth. The other way to do it, the shortcut, the way that I like a lot, is coming up here on the Format tab to the Arrange Group, and you got the Selection pane. Click on it, opens it up, and hey, there's all three of them. Now let's see, this rectangle is the pink, so if I click in here and call it P-I-N-K, okay, that makes more sense. Let's click in here, and that's bleh, and hit enter, and the parallelogram, I mean yellow would make more sense, but it is a parallelogram, so that's okay. In any case, you've got your layers, so now you know that whatever's on top in the selection task pane is the first layer, second layer, third layer, so if you want to rearrange them and say, okay, pink, I want you to go to the last layer, then you can come over here and just hit the down arrow, and it's behind the yellow, and then bring it up, and in fact, if you want to be able to work on some of the text or shapes behind some of them, you can come over here and just click on the I, to hide it, and let's do the parallelogram, and then go ahead and change your text or cells, the data, whatever you need to do, and then go ahead and bring it back up, and great. We didn't have to move around to get to what we want behind those shapes or objects. You can hide all, you can show all, you can rearrange them, rename them as I just showed you. Pretty nifty. Now let me go ahead and close out and hit undo so we can go back to our original partial cube here. And if I want to move this around within my worksheet, you have to select all the shapes. So hold down the shift key and select all the others. Then you can click and drag. But if I have to move it around quite a bit, it's going to be annoying to keep selecting the same objects over and over again. Because when I click off and I'm like, oh, no, we got to move the couch over here, honey. 
and you got to move it over there. Okay, just go ahead and select it once, then group it so it sees it as one object so I don't have to keep reselecting it over and over again. So with all the shapes selected, either come up here on the Format tab, go to the Arrange Group, and there's your Group button. Click on it to group your objects, or if you're careful, and you can right-click on the selection without moving your mouse, you get the Group option there as well. Go ahead and group it. Now it sees all three shapes as one, so you can see the resizing handles around all of them. Of course, now you can resize it, keep it in. Well, it's not perfect proportion because, let me hit Undo, I didn't hold down the Shift key and then clicked and pushed in. Then I can go ahead and click on it, move it around. It moves it as one shape and not individual shapes. Now if you want to go ahead and format one of the shapes, you can click on it and then come up here and choose another fancy color for it and cool. Or if you want to break them up again, they're no longer the band that you once enjoyed as a kid. Let's go ahead and break up the group. <laughs> right click, go to group and say you're disbanded. And then click off. Now you can click on any shape and it selects it individually and not collectively as a group. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.